is that time of month again where I take a look back at the previous month and look at some of my favourites, some of the best releases, some of the ones that I really want to shine a light on and get their names out there and hopefully recommend you guys some great music in case you haven't watched some of my reviews or in case you haven't already checked some of these out. It's like a little refresher to say, you know what, these are really good, you should listen to them. It's a series that I really enjoy doing as well, so I always look forward to making these videos. But another reason why I like doing these videos is that I can kind of manipulate them in a way where I might not have necessarily reviewed an album on the channel, but I can mention an album in this video here and sort of give it a little boost, give it a little uh, a little shine, because hopefully you guys would check it out based on that. So, with me saying that, the first album I want to mention is from Tigran Hamasian. Tigran Hamasian. I might put his name on the screen or something, just so you guys know how it's said, because I probably botched the pronunciation. This is an artist that's actually been kicking around for freaking years, but I've never really seen them get mentioned by music critics ever or any sort of reviewer out there it's it's kind of baffling actually there's there's a there's a huge audience for this kind of stuff it's some really really cool jazz type music here being played i haven't really checked out that much jazz in 2020 or the jazz that i have checked out i haven't had a lot to say about because it's just not really been uh, impacting me all that much not really finding amazing releases in jazz this year i know there's been some really uh, you know, uh, highly praised jazz albums, but I've actually not been that big on many, but this is probably the best I've heard this year. I do feel as though some of the tracks follow a very similar structure, so I don't quite love it because I feel like there might need to be a slight amount of variation throughout. I do feel like Tigra needs a lot more attention than he's getting because this album's really good. Like, it's a really good album and uh, I just think it's it's going overlooked. It shouldn't be going overlooked. It deserves better. And check out some of his other albums too. He's got a pretty uh, interesting discography that I think is worth diving, in, uh, diving into. I have reviewed this next one though, TK Maidzer, one of the uh, more exciting EPs I've heard in 2020. Definitely uh, a one to watch type of artist. She's pretty young. I think she's younger than me, which is always crazy. Honestly, when I see such amazing talent that's significantly younger than, than I am. But this volume two of this EP mini series that she had going on is really good. Like it's much better than volume one. I think it has way more bite to it. A lot of the beats are really, really stellar. Like the production on this is fantastic. The blend of like the Neo Soul type stuff that she's got going for her year. And then also, the rapping, which I think is really on point. She's a sharp rapper, and I think once she kind of hones in her rapping style and her lyrics and her topics, I feel as though she'll be a force to be reckoned with in a few years. So yeah, I definitely feel like this EP is looking into the future and seeing what we've got from a huge talent here, because there's so many great tracks. There's the Peggy feature here too, which is really good. A shook, which is an absolute slapper, grasshopper. It's 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 bangers on bangers. Then I've got the Market album, which is another one that you could argue is going incredibly overlooked. Definitely one of the more interesting indie rock releases of the year. I really like the blend of like the neo psychedelia coming through on this album. Um, a lot of the singing I find to be incredibly charming. Market is just one of those bands that might not be doing the most unique thing with their sound or it might not be innovative in any particular way, but my God, they hit a spot for me. They just hit a really lovely spot. There's something so delicate about this album and uh, it just gives me a warm feeling. I really like this. Market deserve, deserve, they deserve more. They deserve more. I did only review this just yesterday. We have the John Good album. It is a Tech House release. A genre I've been shining a light on a lot in 2020 for very good reason. There's fucking great music coming out of house and electronic in general in 2020. So of course, any opportunity I can to shine a light on a new name that might not be recognized by many is a moment I just take instantaneously and say yes to. He's not exactly reinventing the wheel here. He's not exactly, uh, you know, 
giving us something we've never heard before because that's not exactly true but there's some great variations of styles coming through from like tropical house coming through from some of like the breakbeat type stuff some ambient moments too he's he's a he's a he's challenge he really is this is a debut album and uh, it, it's already really good, so I'm definitely excited to see where he goes next. One of my favourite Japanese artists at the moment, Zuta Mayo. Zuta Mayo, I think you say Zuta Mayo. Zuta Mayo, Zuta Mayo. It's one of them. Um, whatever, they are fantastic. They are just this really quirky little animated uh, J-pop band who I just think have a huge amount of talent and a huge knack for hooks. They are fucking great at hooks. These tracks are ridiculously catchy, ridiculously fun, produced in an excellent way with a singer who has so much character. She has bags of charisma. And obviously with me being English, I don't know what she's saying most of the time, but my God, am I sucked in by how great her voice is. Uh, they are just a great little band. And uh, this EP essentially shows us what we already knew about the band really um the debut is very similar stylistically to this but this ep is probably leading on to an album which i'm sure we'll be getting relatively soon it's like a little teaser taster type thing so if you want just some really great tracks to check out before they do eventually put out an album this is a good place to start but i would i would highly recommend you listening to that debut album which came out last year too because that is a great 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 fantastic album and as we always always do the album of the month in august in my opinion is the kelly lee owens album in a song i am a big fan of kelly lee owens i already was before this album so hearing this album here was just everything i was looking for i was just hoping it would be as good as this and it kind of was better than i expected in some ways i wasn't quite expecting her vocals to take as much of a shine as they did on this album here um, which is really the surprise for me because i was expecting some fantastic you know ambient house ambient techno tracks throughout which we get like tracks like Jeanette and Melt they are stellar songs but she does let her voice uh let she lets her voice loose honestly she really shows us her vocal capabilities and we have some kind of like art pop tracks which I don't think I was quite anticipating but I love the blend of this um you know the these two worlds coming together hearing her voice break free a little bit because it is a beautiful voice in its own right paired up with the stellar capabilities she has as a producer like it really was just one of those albums that i was already knowing i was gonna love but then when it came out loving it and finding out that she has so much more to her than she gave us on the debut. It's really interesting. It's really cool to see as well. And uh, the debut, by the way, is fucking great. I, I actually can't pick a favorite out of the two. Like maybe I would go with the debut over this one, but I feel like on any given day, I would say in a song over the debut and it wouldn't really matter. She is just so talented. It's great to see that two back-to-back -back albums are as good as this. And I still feel like she's getting a bit overlooked as well in a lot of ways. I feel like, you know, many music publications should be all over this. Many other critics out there, uh, you know, YouTube critics, whatever you want to call people out there, should be all over this because this is fantastic. And uh, yeah, my album of the month easily. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you got some recommendations out of it too. I did mention some lesser known names throughout this video like Tigran and uh, John. Those aren't exactly massive artists or so even Zuta Mayo to an extent. So I do hope you watch this video and I do hope you got some recommendations out of it. Let me know your favourites of August as well. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day, subscribe, hit the notification bell too so you never miss any videos, that would be fantastic. Have a good day and goodbye.